hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today is probably one of my most exciting videos that i'm filming i love making videos about the pins that i get on my trips and the pins that i trade and this video is extra extra special because the cast member pin trading is back so in the past previous to covid cast members in the disney world and disneyland i'm not sure but don't don't quote me on that, but definitely Disney World cast members used to have lanyards or they had like little square like belt pins that they would wear in the parks and you could walk around and trade with them and they would get exclusive cast member pin sets that you could only get through trading with them. They are, they were the hidden Mickey or what is now called hidden Disney pins and that hasn't been a thing since like 2019 so i am so so excited that it's back they announced that it was coming back april 7th and i had a trip planned april 8th for my birthday so i knew 100 percent i was going down with a ton of pins and i returned with a ton of pins as well so i I'm so excited to show you all these pins. We definitely got some really, really good ones. And yeah, so if you guys love Disney pins as much as I do, then sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So first off the bat, I'm just going to start with the pins that I purchased. I purchased two of the like Stitch mystery boxes that they currently have in the parks. I only found them being sold in Magic Kingdom. So I found a box being sold in the Emporium and then in the Storybook Circus area, that like big, I think it's called Big Top Souvenirs gift shop. Those were the only two places I saw them. So if you're looking for the mystery boxes, we did open these on the vlogs. So I'm just going to show you them really quickly. But I highly suggest watching the vlog because our reactions are just priceless. <laughs> so the first one we have is Lilo and Stitch with a little snowman, which is so, so cute. And I think I'm going to add this into like my holiday collection. So I have Halloween pins and Christmas pins that I like to put out during the holidays. Um, I do collect Lilo and Stitch pins on the big pin board behind me, but because it's so holiday specific, I don't think I want to put it on there. Then we have a, another Lilo and Stitch pin and they're holding the little Elvis record. And I love this pin because I am not just a huge Stitch fan. Like I like Lilo and Stitch pins with all of the other characters from the movie. I don't exclusively collect Stitch pins. So I'm super excited to add this pin to the pin board. And then we just have two pins of Stitch by himself just hanging out with a sandcastle with his sunglasses on and in the water on a little floaty. And I love how these look like pictures taken and they're like taped up because if you've seen Lilo and Stitch, you know Lilo has her little like tourist photos that she takes and she tapes up all the pictures. So. I really adored that set. They're pretty big pins too. If you're looking for that set, I highly recommend. I think all of the pins in it were really cute. So there wasn't like any bad ones. All right, so next up, you guys know the drill. I like to run through the pins that we traded, but won't be keeping. So we love to trade. We love to go to pin trading events. We also like to do pin trading in person with other pin traders in the parks. So I always keep a lookout for pins that... I don't necessarily collect, but it's a nice pin and someone else might be interested in. So first we've got this little Timothy Mouse in Dumbo's hat. And I think this is such a cute little pin. This is definitely an older pin. It's from, I think, 2012. So definitely an older pin. But super cute. I don't particularly collect Dumbo pins, but I know for someone else, this is going to be a cute find. Then we have two little munchlings. Um, I thought my husband was going to want to keep this one because it's Cheshire Cat and it's really cute. But he said, nah, He's, we're just not huge fans of the munchling pins. So 
but I always grab them because I know other people love them. So these will hopefully make somebody very happy. <laughs> then I have this really tiny, tiny little mini pin. I at first thought this was fake, but it does have the little crystal on the back. And I think this might be from one of like the Tiny Kingdom sets or something. If you know where this pin is from, definitely let me know. And then we have two toy story pins so this is from the hidden mickey set that's currently going on hidden mickey i'm gonna say hidden mickey so many times because that's just what i'm used to but they're hidden disney pins now but because you'll see they have little pixar balls on them we've got woody and then the race car I just don't collect Toy Story pins. I don't know if I ever will start a collection. The only one I might keep is I might keep Woody because I do like to wear my Disney pins in the parks sometimes with outfits or wear them like on my denim jacket or like a hat or something. So I might keep Woody because I like that he's on a star because he is like a sheriff. So then we get to all of the pins that I have on the lanyard and I'm just going to go and take them off. They're going to be in no particular order. So these all currently go into things that I'm collecting or their new collections that I want to start. So first up, I've got two little mermaid pins. So these are both hidden Disney pins. This is a little tiny Ursula and then an Ariel Mickey hat, which I really, really like both of these. Then I was able to find the last pin in my Fantasia set. And this is honestly my favorite one out of the whole set. I haven't decided if I'm keeping the set or trading it away to someone, but for now it's just gonna stay in my collection. Then I found this Lion King pin. So this is from a current box set and I do really like all of these pins. I just haven't decided if I want to purchase it or not, but I do have a small Lion King collection and Lion King celebrated its 30th anniversary the same time I turned 30. So I definitely want to get some more Lion King pins. Then I got this pin and I am having a hard time telling if this is real or not. It's from 2009. It's a hidden Mickey pin and it says, Freddy the Bat will miss you 1847 on it. And I would love, I mean, I can definitely look this up, but if you know, like right off the bat without having to do like much effort where this pin is from, I want to say it's Haunted Mansion because it's a gravestone. So I think it's one of the gravestones from Haunted Mansion and I pulled it because it was unique looking and we have a Haunted Mansion collection. I just don't know if it's real because the edges are not super smooth and that's usually a, a dead giveaway so it probably is not real but nonetheless i do think it looks cool and sometimes i will keep non-authentic disney pins if they're kind of cool and weird looking like these then i have a really cool pin i traded with a cast member for my husband and this is a miles morales spider-man pin and it is a limited release Marvel pin from 2023 and it's got like this signature on the back which I think is like the artist's signature so really really cool pin. I couldn't believe that somebody just traded this away. One of the brand new hidden Disney sets that they're doing is for Wally, -E, and I love the Wally -E movie. They never ever come out with Wally -E pins. So I was so, so excited when I saw these and I first traded for this one and then I was like, you know what? I'm never going to be able to find Wally. -E. Like I just thought it, he was too rare. Like everyone has probably grabbed him by now. I found Wally -E at the end of our trip and I was so, so excited. So I love him. He's adorable so thrilled to have them and I'm probably gonna try and finish this collection and maybe if Disney shows some Wally some love I'll have a Wally collection. 
Then I got this little piglet pin and he's just laying with some flowers and he's so, so adorable. I haven't decided if I'm gonna collect Winnie the Pooh pins. Winnie the Pooh is very near and dear to my heart because growing up, that was one of the shows that I watched the most. And my mom also was obsessed with Winnie the Pooh, so she would always dress me in clothes that had Winnie the Pooh. I remember I had Winnie the Pooh, like, jelly shoes, and it's just very, very nostalgic for me. So basically, I just throw it out there that if I come across a really cute Winnie the Pooh pin, I do trade it. And I'm only going to collect them via trade. I'm not going to go out of my way to purchase them or anything. And I'll kind of just see how it grows naturally over time. Then I found this Pumba pin. And this is an old pin because it's the old like waffle back style. Um, but I love Lion King. Like I said, I have a small collection. So definitely keeping Pumba. And I like that this is a decent sized pin too. Then we found this Evil Stitch, Red Stitch. I don't know what the name of this character is. I feel like I remember the episode from the TV show though where like Jumba makes an evil version of Stitch to take Stitch down. I can't remember if I'm just making that up, but I did find this Red Stitch pin and originally I was just going to trade it away, but my husband really likes it, so we're going to keep it. Up next, I got a, finally got our 2024 pin. Um, we got the Genie one. So if you guys don't know, I collect a year pin for every year that we go to Disney, which is pretty much once a year. But I refuse to buy them, so I always have to collect the year pin through trade. And some years I have a really hard time finding them and I don't end up finding them until like the following year. So I think I'm still on the lookout for a 2023 pin, but we've got 2024 already and I love that it's Genie. Such a, such a good pin. Then I got a little R2-D2 pin. So this is from the Hidden Disney Droids collection, but honestly... I really wanted R2 the most, so I'm pretty content with this and I feel like I don't need the rest of them because this was the one I really wanted. So very, very happy that I found this one and surprised that it was still available for trade. Then we have this Sattler pin and we collect Muppets pins so every now and then we keep an eye out for some Muppets because I feel like the Muppets pins are very rare and this is actually a hidden Disney set. We also have Swedish Chef from this set. Um, I didn't get him on this trip but this is an older uh, set too. This is from 2008. So really cool that I was able to get two from this set. And then a little bit of a boring pin, but um, we have a Disney couples board that we collect and it's actually hung up back here on my pin wall. And we had the Mr. Pin that we grabbed off of a board a while ago. And I was confident that I'd be able to find the Miss Pin very shortly after. So now I can put this on that board. Up next, we have the Yeti. Oh, he's a little pin, so it might be... There you go. We have the Yeti. I love Everest. Everest is my favorite ride, so I would honestly not be too mad if I started a mini Everest collection, but I think even broader than that, I think I want to do a whole Animal Kingdom collection, and because that's my favorite park, I would love to have just an entire board dedicated to pins for all the rides at Animal Kingdom and then just generic Animal Kingdom pins. So I think that's going to be in the works next is to look for pins for that board. And then the last two pins happen to be Mickey hat pins. So up first, we have a little stitch one. This is, I believe... From the same collection as this so these are a newer mickey hat hidden disney collection so i was able to find stitch which is really cool and i don't know all of the characters that are in this collection 
but honestly these are the two that I feel like I would want the most anyways so very very happy with that and then the last one is another hidden Disney Little Mermaid Disney hat but this one is Sebastian and he's on it he actually has like the Mickey on there and this one is really really cute I absolutely love this pin so those are all of the pins we traded wow I've already been talking for 17 minutes I'm sorry that this video was so long but when I tell you we traded so many pins um the cast members are everywhere like literally we walked through the emporium and we did seven trades and that was with seven different cast members so as a pin trader I am so so over the moon that the cast member trading is back and that so many of the cast members are participating so I don't know what it's going to look like in the future you know as a person who was like really looking for the cast members and trading there were definitely some scrappers a lot of fake pins kind of like on their little pin lanyards but there was also a handful of good ones too and I tried to really prioritize trading value for value so if I was trading a pin that I wasn't sure was authentic I would just trade one of my fake pins for it but if I knew 100% it was an authentic valuable pin I traded a real pin for it so I highly suggest you do the same to kind of keep it nice keep it fair keep it going for everyone because it would be such a shame for all of the cast member pins to also just be scrapper fake pins like I really think prioritizing fake pins for the big pin boards and kind of leaving that the scrapper boards and keeping the cast member traits hopefully decent but you never know I can't tell you what's gonna happen I will continue to update you guys as I go to Disney and trade and we'll hope for the best <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Disney pin videos and I will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.